Breathing methods. Breathing is the process by which animals take in and give out the air. The air they breathe in supplies oxygen to their bodies. Aquatic animals get oxygen from the air. Dissolved in water. Different animals have different organs for breathing. Birds, reptiles and mammals breathe through their lungs. Air enters the body through their nostrils and reaches the lungs through the windpipe. Lungs are richly supplied with blood through the blood vessels. Here oxygen from the air is absorbed by the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood is passed into the air. Blood has a special substance called hemo, hemo, hemoglobin that combines with oxygen and carries it to all parts of the body. Lungs contract to give out carbon dioxide rich air which goes out of the body through the nostrils. Insects have small holes called spiracles on their body. Spiracles, Spiracles lead into a network of tubes present all through the body. This tube is called trachea. Air enters the spiracles. spiracles and then passes through the trachea. Oxygen from the air is absorbed by the tissues of the body. Carbon dioxide is removed through the spiracles from the body. Fish, tadpoles and other aquatic animals breathe through gills. Gills are thin, flat stretches that have many blood vessels. Fish take in water through their mouth when this water passes over the gills. Oxygen dissolved in the water is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released by the blood. The carbon dioxide then passes out of the gills. Let us understand the breathing mechanism of fish. Violets and dolphins also live in water. They have lungs that can take in oxygen only from air. So they cannot breathe under water and have to come to the surface of water to breathe. They have blow hole on the head for breathing. When they breathe in, Oxygen from the air enters their body through a blowhole. When they breathe out, carbon dioxide leaves the body along with water. An earthworm breathes through its skin. Frogs breathe through their skin when they are in water. On land, they breathe through their lungs. Baby frogs or tadpoles breathe through gills. Dolphin earthworm run through an lead easy. Animals have different eating habits. Their teeth and feet are suited to their eating habits. Mammals breathe through their lungs. Insects breathe through tachyia. Fish breathe through the gills. Earthworms breathe through their skin.
movement. Animals move from one place to another in search of food and water to protect themselves from enemies and to look for shelter. Territorial animals. Most of the animals living on the land have four limbs. The front limbs are called four limbs and the back limbs are called hind limbs. Human beings use their hind limbs or legs to walk, stand, run and swim. The legs help them to stand straight and have an erect posture. The four limbs or arms are used to hold objects, horses, dogs, goats, tigers, giraffes, etc. Walk and run on all the four limbs, legs. Kangaroos hop on their hind limbs because they are longer and stronger than their four limbs. Reptiles. Crocodiles and lizards have four short legs. They use these to crawl on the ground. Lizards can also crawl on the walls and ceilings of our houses. Snakes do not have legs. They have scales on the underside of their bodies. Their muscles are very strong and they have a flexible backbone. All these features help them to grip the ground and move. Insects. Insects have six legs that help them to move. Ants and crocodiles crawl on their legs. Grasshoppers and stick insects have long high limbs. These are used for hopping. Insects such as butterflies, moths and dragonflies have wings for flying. These wings are made of the thin scales that can be different colors. A butterfly has colored wings. Some insects such as Bed bugs and lice cannot fly. Instead, they move by crawling. Aerial animals. Most bands, birds can fly. They have special features that help them to fly, such as a streamlined body. Four limbs modified into wings. Hollow bones that make the body light. Strong chest muscles that provide energy for flying. A tire to change direction while flying. Claws that help them to walk on the ground and sit or perch on tree branches. Wings help birds to fly. Some birds have large heavy bodies and poorly developed wings. So they cannot fly. Ostriches, cassowaries, emus and penguins are some examples of flightless birds. Birds are flying mammals. Their skin from their body is structured to join each forelimb, forming a wing. Get it right. It, it is believed that ostrich worries its head in sand when it feels threatened. If it really did that, it would not be able to breathe and feel suffocated. When facing danger, ostrich lies down in a way in which its neck is stretched straight and the back looks like a hump. The predator may feel that the hump is mound of sand. <clears throat> aquatic animals aquatic animals 
such as fish can swim with the help of fins they help the fish in moving forward turning and keeping an upright position by itself the tail fin helps to change direction ducks have webbed feet for swimming in water frogs also have webbed hind limbs that help them to swim water insects use their legs to swim the four limbs of the belt turtles act as paddles that help them swim by pushing the water back penguins use their four limbs as flippers which help them to swim